No change coming through from the BOJ, but is there any chance, maybe a surprise in the next couple of months, maybe even just a little bit of a widening on the yield curve control? Uh, it looks like that's very unlikely because, you know, over this, uh, over this uh, many days, uh, every, uh, every working days, the Bank of Japan is already uh, intervening in a JGB market and by exercising this fixed rate uh, JGB purchase operations. And uh, this, uh, since last Friday, you know, there's a lot of upward pressure on a TIA yield and the BOJ is increasing purchases. So uh, given this situation, it looks uh, to me, uh, it's clear that the BOJ is going to maintain this current yield curve control. But Sayuri san they, they keep saying that, you know, now they're saying, suggesting that the upward inflation is a trend. They're expecting that to accelerate towards the end of the year. You've got five straight months of core inflation printing higher, all of these food price increases that are going to be coming through around about, I think it's like 6,300 that Taikoku was suggesting coming through in October. Yeah. Isn't that impulse growing then? And shouldn't they be a little bit more focused on the fact that it could be more persistent than they're thinking right now? Mm. Um, I think there are two issues here. Uh, one is that Japan's output gap still remain uh, negative. And so we don't have a very tight labor market, uh, very different from the U.S. So I think it's uh, uh, the BOJ and probably government think that maintaining a low interest rate is better than, you know, having uh, any uncertainty about 10-year yield. And because, you know, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, flexible uh, uh, floating rate uh, with regards to mortgage. So, and then there are a lot of uh, small companies who want to borrow money from banks. So maintaining low interest rate is, is, uh, is good for Japanese economy. That's, I think, the, uh, the mindset. Uh, of the Bank of Japan. But at the same time, like you said, uh, there's a growing uh, impact coming from yen's depreciation on the inflation. But there are another things, because the BOJ maybe think it's better to uh, defend current uh, yield curve control uh, rather than make it more flexible. Because the once BOJ will start to raise the 10-year yield target, then they, uh, this is going to invite the sort of different type, type of a new round of uh, speculation. So what would be the next, uh, uh, you know, BOJ's target on the 10-year yield? So that kind of uh, speculation will continue. So probably uh, BOJ uh, calculated uh, this pros and cons, and they thought uh, maintaining current uh, uh, policy at this stage, because inflation is still around 3%, uh, is reasonable. So if inflation really go up uh, extremely high, like 5% or something, uh, maybe uh, that's another story.